There are five massive tips that got me to the pro level at PUBG that you want to start implementing in your daily routine. Because if you don't, you will stay at the same level forever and you will regret not having listened to this video carefully. And stick around for the fifth tip because it's an absolute game changer. First tip, do not change your settings. First, you gotta make sure that they're good. And secondly, you need to stop changing your settings all the time. It's a mistake I see happening so many times from beginners to even advanced players. They just don't stay with the same settings. And people expect to get better at the game without building the muscle memory needed to actually get good at it. If you wanna get good at PUBG, you need to stick around with the same settings and build that muscle memory. Secondly, you wanna focus on the kills and not the wins. I know a lot of you guys are just super focused on wanting to rank up, wanting to like get the wins, you know, get the chicken dinner and all that stuff. It's really fancy. It's something that's like been really popular in PUBG, but trust me, don't focus too much on the wins because it's by focusing on the kills and by getting better at actually killing players and improving your shooting, improving your aiming, all that stuff, that you will actually get the wins naturally. So don't win games thinking that you will get good at the game, but get good at shooting and then you will win games. All right, so the third tip is massively important and really, really underrated i see a lot of people actually caring too much about going for the clips going for the 1d4 clutch or like trying to be super fancy with what they're doing and thinking that this is what will get them good at the game but no the real key to actually get better is to focus on being the best teammate you can be if you actually focus on being the best teammate you can be you will actually make your teammates life way easier you will be able to like get this synergy going and you will be actually improving way 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 more than if you're just focusing on your own individual skills obviously you need to be good at the game right you need to improve you need to like get some skill and like be able to kill people but being a good teammate is what you will be remembered for you know people won't remember your name if you play with like other players well they won't remember your name because you did a 1v4 or because you did the, a clutch people don't really think like that it's not something that marks them for like a long time they'll forget it the next day when you play with them but what they will remember you for is for the time they spent with you so if you play one or two or three hours with the same few persons well, they will remember you for being a good teammate. If they actually had a really nice time playing with you, they will actually be like, okay, yo, I want to play with that guy again because he actually is a really good teammate. I had a fun time with him. And that's how you will build this synergy. That's how you will build these connections. And that's how you will actually get better at the game. The fourth tip kind of joins the third one. By being a good teammate, I also mean that you need to drop down your ego because ego is sometimes great, but it also kills your potential and it kills your improvement gap because you're really like, thinking that you already know stuff when clearly you're probably not aware of everything. You know, even me with 13,000 hours in the game, like all the other friends that I have that have like a super high amount of hours in the game, we're all open for criticism and for learning even more. Even though we could have that ego, we could be like, okay, I know everything. Like I've spent enough time in the game. So like if even us pro players or ex pro players, we don't even have this ego and we're open for criticism. Well, you shouldn't also have an ego thinking that you know stuff better than your teammates or that you know stuff and that they don't like be just be open for new things be open for new opportunities be open to try new things and now the fifth tip is networking and what i mean by networking is the reason i got good at pubg and i actually improved and got to the pro level was not because i was some talented mechanical god i was nowhere near talented when i started the game i was just like you just starting like dying and all that stuff so many times but the one thing that differed me from the crowd is that i started working on my relations i started working up the ladder and just like that i got to play with better and better and better players until i got to the pro scene and i got to the pro level and even then I would still try and try and try and try to get even better and to just reach like players like the top Korean players like PO, Salute. Like I was just not stopping to like try to get to that next step. And that's what you want to do. You want to try to get to play with better and better players. And like once again, don't just try to like play with the highest person instantly. Like it's not going to work like that. You want to start at your own pace, at your own level and then grind the way up. I also want to add a bonus tip. So if you want to be the best, you have to actually learn from the best. Don't seek advices from players that haven't achieved enough or that haven't like show that they actually are good go and get advices from people that actually prove that they were good and that is why me and nine other top tiers players have made a complete guide 
on how to actually get better at the game because we have proven that we know the blueprint and that we got good at the game so we can give advices if this is something that you could be interested in check out the link down below in the description and use the code first for 50% off